Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anand. In today's video tutorial, I would be explaining about one of the most important elements which is called the column rename option. What is a column rename option and what are the uses of it? Before looking into it, first and foremost, I have to import my file for which I need a file reader node. How do I locate my file reader node? I have to go to my node repository, which is exactly on my left hand side. I have to go to the search bar and I'm going to type file. When I type file, a lot of nodes pertaining to file is getting popped up and I want only the file reader node. So I drag and I drop it into my workstation. Now my workstation has the file reader node, but apparently it shows a signal which is in red color, which means this particular node doesn't have data and we cannot proceed with a further step. Now I have to import the data. I'm going to right click. I'm going to configure. This dialog box would open. I'm going to browse. I'm going to search for my file, which has been saved in .csv format. It's from the COVID-19 database. I'm opening it. I'm clicking apply and okay. Now you can see that the node shows a different signal, which is an yellow color, which means the data is ready to be processed and executed. How do I perform the data execution? I right click, I go to execute and I click execute. Now you can see that the file reader signal has changed to green color. What do you mean by this? Which means that the data has been processed and you can view your data. Right click, go to the last option, which is the file table. And you can get to see the data which has been arranged in different columns and different rows. So unfortunately, I see that the very first column name is countries and region. But I don't want it to be countries and region, but I want to give a very different name, which is world countries or world nations. Can I change it here? No, I cannot change it here. So how do I change it? Should I go back to my Excel sheet? Should I change it there? Again, should I execute my file? It's not needed. You don't have to waste your time and energy. So that is why we need a column rename node. How do I find my column rename node? Go to your node repository. Again, type rename. You can get to see different other nodes. So from that node collection, please drag and drop column rename node into your workstation. So now your column rename node is available. Please connect the file reader node to the column rename node. So after you do that, your column rename node is in red color signal, which means you still have to configure it. So please configure and you can get to see the different types of column elements which is available. So you have to tell which one you have to change. I want to change the first one. So I have to double click that. When I double click, the next dialog box would open. So I want to change country region and I want to give a very unique name. I'm going to give the new name as world nations and I click apply. Okay. And now the signal is in yellow color. So I have to execute it. I right click and I execute. Now it is in green color, which means it has been executed. Now let me check the new name. So you can see that it has been changed to world nations initially it had a different name so this is the use of the column rename node in the nine platform let me meet you for the next video and explain about the other node components which are available on the nine platform thank you and have a great day